Hello fellow engineers and welcome to a Briss build to destroy. Now as an engineer most of the time you spend your day building to build I guess. But in this game it's the opposite. We're building things to destroy things. Uh, so let's head into the campaign and we'll start with the intro just to see what the game's all about. Right so essentially this is the game. There's this yellow block on top of this huge pyramid thing and uh, this is where we can build. So if we come over to the left over here we have this an ultra heavy cube. So we can click on that and we can place these wherever we want we can rotate to 45 degrees so we can place one right on the edge we've started building and you'll notice look there's scaffolding underneath it holding it in place that will disappear when we press this go button so we press go it's gone but the cube is just about safe on there uh, but why did we do that you might ask what's the point of putting a cube on that block well this white thing over here this is what we need to destroy it looks like it's sort of hovering can you see there's like rockets underneath so that's sort of hovering in place there's this red thing which acts like a bomb when you hit it it's also surrounded by like little drones i don't know what the story is but uh we're gonna add some more cubes so when we place we can then move things about afterwards so we can get like right over the edge so perhaps we'll do that we've got some very precarious scaffolding there and then we'll press go and ready boosh into the red thing and it is destroyed beautifully and look at it disappearing down the side of the pyramid look at that pyramid as well that's definitely like an architect's pyramid engineer's pyramid <laughs> and we can see how destroyed the level was 100 percent destroyed in two moves nice let's go to the next stage so now we're given connector pieces it looks like so this level we've got two sort of very thin buildings and there's two bombs on top like there okay i don't know what they are in the background as well they look like whales i don't know anyway look we've got different parts we've got a heavy pillar the ultra heavy cube that we used before and the connector so i'm going to start with a heavy pillar i think so we'll plonk a few of those on top of each other sort it We'll go for one more. Uh, next up, I'm going to use a connector and shove that there. And then we'll place some ultra heavy cubes like that. So it's almost the perfect sort of hammer. But I have a feeling I can make it work a little bit better. Yes, there we go. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's press go and see what happens. Oh, no. The pillars weren't connected to each other. I forgot. <laughs> All right, so we've got to make sure our pillars are connected so we'll put that down and then we'll do a connector like there and then another pillar off the edge oh look at the scaffolding it's so dodgy we'll try it that way so let's press go and see what this does boosh oh man that cut straight through it although these bits are still standing not ideal so we only got 67 percent destroyed i think we can do better all right so this one we've added a bit of weight to the top and hopefully with this one being a bit wider i did it on like a 45 degree angle Hopefully that will do a bit more damage. Oh, I cut through it like butter. And those pillars, one's falling down. What about this one? Oh, it's thinking about it. It's leaning. It's leaning. There it goes. The top is off. So we'll say complete. What are we on? 78. Not perfect, but at uni that would have been a first. So I think we'll move on. <laughs> All right. So on this level, we can build there. And then I think we knock this one off. And then can you see there's like a gold thing under it? I think if we destroy this building, we then unlock that one to build on. So we can reach this thing, which sort of looks like a weird skull. Anyway, right, we'll add a pillar, connector, another pillar, another connector, and another pillar. I'm hoping that will be enough to take out the red. We're going to rotate about that place. So that might just about hit it, looking at that. So we'll press go. Is it going in? Yes, we got it. We got it. Oh, beautiful. Look at the building. <laughs> oh, I mean, we'll that as well. The skull is dead. Uh, and our yellow block, is it going to fall off or is it stuck there? It's sort of knocked the rest of that off. Oh man, the skull is full. It's gone into the abyss. The abyss. Yeah, right. Well, looks like I don't need to unlock this one anyway. So cool. Completed. 99% destroyed in one move. Oh, 1% short. Ooh, okay. So in this level, we've unlocked a new piece. This is called a rotator. So if we put that down first, we can then put a connector on there. Shove a heavy beam on the side. Do another connector and another heavy beam to go in the gap. I probably should have built it this way so we had a bit of momentum. But uh, let's press go and then down here we can turn on the move function oh man it is a beast oh oh no that one's too short we missed that building i think it fell down before i could get a chance although it did just fall off the edge <laughs> complete 
How did we do? 98%, one move. I think I think we'll take that. Oh, wow. So in this level, they've actually given us bombs to use ourselves. Although, this one's a bridge. I don't want to destroy a bridge. It's got, like, a very clever, like, maintenance piece. I assume that's going along and painting it or something. Uh, right, and looking at our pieces, we don't have any columns. So I'm going to guess we can't go up. So as we can only go horizontal, I am going to go to the two columns and then place a couple of bombs. So I think we'll bung this there-ish. Then if we rotate, we can just add heavy beams. Oh man, that is some dodgy scaffolding. <laughs> right, so I don't know how close I can go. I might go... I might just do that. Oh, it doesn't look like I can connect a bomb to the side of a connector. I can put it on the top. Now, these have a hell of a blast radius. So, do I need to be that close? Maybe I didn't. But still, let's build this direction as well. I want to take out both columns at once. So, if this has been engineered correctly, taking out one column will not be enough. Right, there you go. Bombs on the top. Oh, this seems so wrong. But let's press the button. The bridge failed instantly. We didn't even do anything. Uh, so, it looks like we can choose to explode one bomb or both at the same time. I'm might do one than the other. So let's boost that one. Oh, the bridge is down. Then we'll boost that one as well. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, I would say that is well and truly destroyed. What does the game say though? 95%. Not bad. Let's move on. Use thrusters for propulsion. Oh, yes. Yes, game. Oh, this game knows what I like. Right, okay. We're gonna have to build up because I want my thrusters to take out the red bombs. Well, they're actually, when I press play, does their scaffolding disappear? Can you see they've got like scaffolding underneath? Or can I just take that out myself? All right, so I'm going to shove a cube down to start. That just gives us a bit of height. Then I'm going to put a beam on top of that. Thruster on the back. And then I'm going to use connectors to give us a bit of whip. I'm a bit worried we might hit that thing, but let's see what happens. Boosh oh, it's gone up. It's gone up. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> Alright, if we just shoot a bit earlier. Oh no. Okay, so we need to we need to go higher to get over that. I'm gonna build a heavy pillar, and that is what we're gonna build the rocket on. Very important weight. And then we'll go. Yes, so that is perfectly balanced. So hopefully it will take out all that scaffolding. Let's press fire and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> right, maybe we want to lean back. What if we put a heavy cube on the back? Will that tip us up? Yes, it does. Fire. Oh, no. It, oh, it's, it's connected. <laughs> Oops. All right, this time I've done a bit of that. It looks more like a sword now, but... uh, Oh, oh. Oh, I took down three of them, but not four. Oh, some explosions down there. We need to take out that last one, though. All right, that looks more balanced. Fire. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Although, we haven't fallen sideways, we've just fallen straight down. We might be okay, though. They are definitely... Oh, there goes a bomb. Yeah, okay, I think that was way better. 99%. Why can't I get 100%? Is that so much to ask? All right, and this one, it looks like we've got to build a rocket, like, straight up to smash those bombs up there. Sweet. Oh, and we have a rotator and a bomb. Interesting. Right, I'm going to start with a heavy pillar. I'm then going to add a rotator rotator with two connectors on the side and then gonna add thrusters oh or is that a thing you can't build underneath in this game okay it appears we can't build underneath so we might have to use our rotators differently so if we start with a pillar and then do a connector then we shove a rotator there and then a connector and then we put our thruster there then we can rotate that if we grab another rotator shove it on this side yeah it looks like there's arrows on the top of them so they will rotate opposite directions so that's perfect thruster on that side so when we rotate we should be able to get our thrusters pointing straight down and then we may as well use everything up so let's bung connector there and then bomb on top so it sort of looks like a weird like little man thing but uh, oh no oh no no we're falling <laughs> Damn it. All right, what if I place my bomb slightly forward? Oh, now we're falling that direction. Damn it. <laughs> what about there? No. <laughs> that went flying. All right, there we go. There we go. I think I just didn't snap the bomb to the top initially. So we do our rotate. Okay, what if we thrust first and then do the rotators? So thrust, rotators. <laughs> Oh, what if we just build as tall as we can in the hope that our bomb might reach it? Our blast radius isn't the best. No, it, it, it did nothing. All right, what if we start down here? So we do our rotators and rockets as before, but we don't put them on a pillar. Because if we put the pillar on like that, and obviously that's a more efficient shape to do this. Yeah, that makes way more sense. Way more sense. So we do connector there 
connector on this side. And then I've just shoved the rockets on and then connector and bomb on top. I think that might work. Okay, we're sort of stable. Let's do the rotations. I don't know why that one didn't move. Why aren't you moving? All right, there we go. There we go. And then we stop. So they're sort of facing down. And then we just launch and then get ready to hit the bomb. Why aren't we launching? Oh, is it because I've connected to the bottom? Oh, I think we're connected to the base. Damn it. Well, maybe my original idea was right then. Maybe I just didn't build it very well. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're just about standing. The man's trying to walk. He is trying to walk. All right, if it settles, we'll do the rotations. Yes. Yes, it's working. It's working. All right, ready. Stop. And then we'll launch. Yes, we're going up. No, we missed. We missed. Oh, no, we didn't miss. <laughs> We sort of missed, but we still destroyed the building. <laughs> oh, there goes the bombs. All right, how did that one pan out? The percentage is going up 100%. It's my first 100%. Oh, that was really hard. But let's go to the next stage. Use lasers to cut targets. Don't have to tell me twice. Awesome. Okay, so what I'm thinking, we start with a rotator. Then we do a connector. And then we can add a laser to the side of that. I think we'll shove that there. Laser's pointing backwards, but that's fine. We can rotate it. And then we'll do... A few heavy pillars connected with connectors. I guess that's high enough. Then we can shove another laser on this side. Is that high enough to get the bomb? Or do I need to go... I think I need to go on the very top. But then I'm worried we're going to lean. So what I might do, just to, just to balance the weight. No other reason. So we'll press play. So we'll turn the lasers on. That is burning a hole. And then we can rotate. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, we've got the bottom off. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's really cool, but it looks like I might need to rotate like forwards and backwards. So let's start again. So I sort of reckon, what if we start with a connector? So now we're connected to the bottom, can't go anywhere. Then we add a rotator that way, and then another connector, then a rotator on this side. Actually, we should probably go higher first. I'm going to do a pillar, then a connector, and then a rotator. And then we add the lasers. So I reckon one there. Actually, we're doing another connector. And we're just going to do lasers like that. If we turn the lasers on, we're pointing at that. That's no good. But if we then rotate everything, it's just going to go in a crazy direction. <laughs> Ready? Zor. <laughs> All right, and I think we can turn off different rotations with this. So we're currently spinning that direction. There you go. We've taken out the bottom. Now I can press this button just a little bit. And we've gone up slightly higher. So now we take out that chunk. And as we come back around, we just raise it slightly. Maybe a, that was a bit too slight. But this time, ready? Okay, a little bit more. But this time, we're a bit higher. So... Oh, we're too high. We're too high. <laughs> I'll tell you what, actually. I should probably just stop it so it's pointing. Then I don't have to wait so long, idiot Matt. So if we lower that slightly, that's in a good location. So now when we come around... Do a little bit of damage. All right, and now we're lined up. We just fire. Oh, too low. We're too low. All right, so after some surgeon-like laser precision, I think we're done. We can press complete. Please be 100. Please be 100. Please be 100. Oh, 97. Still, I'll take that. Oh, look. We've got mirrors. Mirrors and lasers. So, looking around, it looks like everywhere is mirrored. And this level has already built us the strongest shape. Good work. Right. So let's do one of those. We'll hit go. So we'll turn the laser on, do a bit of rotating. And then as we come down here, we'll see we're slightly too low. Okay. Back to the drawing board. We've got to go one higher. So that's why we have two rotators, I think. Uh, one thing I've noticed, I've, look, there's like a door here. So I think to get to this building, we follow this wire. It goes over to here and there's some sort of electrical thing in there we've got to destroy, I think. So let's turn the laser on and then we'll bring... The laser over that way. Oh, man, look. <laughs> so we're melting through those buildings thanks to the mirrors. I think that one, yeah, that opens that door. So if we just very slightly give it a bit of a rotate. Oh, no, our laser broke. Why did our laser break? All right, we've nearly opened the door lock. There you go, it's open. And now that one's coming down. Man, there is so much mirror carnage. There you go, it's down. So the door at the front is now open. I do just want to try and muller everything in there, though. Man, there are some crazy shapes going on. Boosh. <laughs> Oh, now we're taking out the one in the middle as well. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, there we go. That was the final sweep. 
We'll press complete. 97%, not quite 100. Oh, now we've unlocked pistons, though. To throw objects. Okay, is anyone else seeing another strongest shape here? That can't just be me. This is turning into my favorite game. All right, okay. It looks like if I were to drop something down there and destroy them, then these pistons fling that way, so... So how is this going to work? I assume I need maybe a heavy cube to start, then a connector on top, but leaning over the edge. And then if I do a beam on either side, and do that sort of thing, that should fall forwards. I'll get loads of like blocks down there, and that can be like shrapnel for the shootery bit. So if I just cover this in the remaining blocks, then will that work? So we say continue, that all falls forwards. Oh, most of it fell off the edge. <laughs> a boosh. Oh, oh, oh. How is that building standing? Is it standing? It it wants to fall, but it's not quite falling. Go on, go on. Just need a gust of wind. Right, I think we'll do that again, but I won't go that mental with the connectory bits. So I think we'll do that. Do a connector there and a connector there. And then we can do this beam in between. And then I think we got a nice platform to put all of these heavy cubes on. So something like that. Let's press go. Yeah, there you go. They're all falling forwards. Beautiful. That's going to be a mess. Let's zoom out. Oh, <laughs> man, those pistons are crazy. Absolute carnage. What was our score, though? Oh, only 93. Pathetic. All right, now we've unlocked a cannon. Love it. So it looks like our cannon's got to shoot that. And then that will fire the pistons upwards. So I guess we got like a multi thing going on. So let's just see where our cannon has to be so that will shoot it i think so we'll do that there and then we need two things to fall into those we've got a heavy pillar we can put that right on the corner so i reckon like that i don't want to go too much in the corner i want it to fall only forwards not sideways so we'll do connectors lean forwards another connector to get some height and then i guess just cubes like always leaning forwards a bit so they're gonna fall forwards and fill up the piston areas yeah not bad not bad and then we just need to fire the cannon at the right time so i guess now Boosh. I'm ready. The piston should fire. Oh, the left one's empty. Oh, not quite. We do have some cubes. They're going to fall. Are they going to hit the bombs? Yes. Oh, we got one. We didn't quite... Oh, we didn't quite destroy it. So what percentage are we on? 93%. I will take that for sure. And that was the last level. There's also a sandbox mode, which if you guys enjoyed this video, boost your like button. Let me know. And if you want more, I'll check out the sandbox. But yeah, that was a bris. Very fun. A very strong game. Lots of efficient shapes everywhere. But yeah, peace, love, and the dark abris. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.